The man who found a way around Einstein's golden rule was a friend of his. He also happened to be one of the most eccentric figures in the history of science, which is saying something. Kurt Gödel spent most of his life convinced he was being followed and that there was a conspiracy to poison him. He was also one of the most brilliant mathematicians ever to have lived. 1949, a bombshell was dropped. Einstein's friend, Kurt Gödel, who was one of the most famous mathematicians of the 20th century, found a solution to Einstein's equations where time travel to the past was possible. Soon after he met Einstein, Gödel became obsessed with time travel, and in particular, the limits Einstein had placed on it. Initially, he spent some time testing the idea that nothing could travel faster than light. But it turned out Einstein was right. So Gödel decided to find another way to get to the past. He changed the nature of time itself. The problem, he realized, was that everyone assumed time flowed in a straight line. But what if it didn't? What if time could loop round, like eddies in water? Gödel suggested if you could make time loop round like that, then you could reach the past. You wouldn't need to travel faster than the speed of light. You'd be able to take a shortcut and magically get there before the light did. There was only one way Gödel could think of to make time loop. It was to make everything else loop too. The universe would have to spin round. In Gödel's universe, if you stood absolutely still, and uh, weren't dizzy, uh, you would find that the stars and galaxies in the universe would be twirling, uh, twirling around you. And, and you would find that if you went on a long enough trip away from home, you could come back even before you started. Kurt Gödel found that in such a rotating universe, not only could an observer go off on a trajectory and reach any given point in space they liked, they could also reach any given point in time. It would be possible to leave Earth in a spaceship and travel not only anywhere, but any when too. The solution of 1949 opened up a Pandora's box. It broke the ice, or, or perhaps the taboo. The genie was out of the bottle. Gödel was to inspire a whole new generation of physicists. And even the fact 